Kayla? That's right. Ezekiel Elliott not only put up some impressive numbers last year, but he did it all with style, sporting what many called the crop top. And while fans loved it, the NCAA said no more. But that didn't faze Zeke. He's already found something to replace it, something even more impressive to the eyes. If anyone knows how to get Buckeye fans on their feet, it's running back Jones Ezekiel right Elliott. Side. Jones, late pitch Elliott to the 50. Turns to the Bronco 45, hurdles to the 40. For the first time this season, he showcased some nifty moves, jumping over a Western Michigan defender. Then shortly after that, Twitter went wild with hashtag Zeke Leap. The first time this season, I'm not going to lie, I, I really planned it out, but uh, <laughs> this kind of came naturally. And that's no surprise to anyone who knows his background. Not only did Zeke run hurdles in high school, but his mother, Dawn, was a track star at Missouri. I know he has a, a background in hurdling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's just something that he does. Uh, maybe he was just waiting until this year to really break it out. Four times this season, Zeke has gone airborne. But really, how impressive is this hurdle-like motion? For that, we turn to Ohio State physics professor tangent. Michael Lisa. Okay, so here's Zeke hurtling over a player, coming down on the other side, and then being pushed out of bounds. It's an amazing move, and it's an instinctive move where he's anticipating motions on the field and getting up and over a player that never would have expected it. For Zeke, there's not much to think about when he's up in the air. Uh, just trying to get back on the ground before someone comes and hits me, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, He's only off the ground for a split second. Uh, a basketball player, for example, LeBron James might have a hang time of about 0.85 seconds. Zeke is in the air for half of a second only. And that's a short amount of time when you're talking about Zeke's body type. It's kind of funny to see that you got a 225-pound a back just kind of going over top of people. And it's not like these guys are completely diving at his ankles. They're kind of still on their feet when he does it. So it's pretty amazing to see. Professor Lisa would agree. He's compact and muscular, and, and often these are not the most uh, bouncy people. I mean, usually high jumpers, both male and female, rather tall. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, he's quite amazing. He's quite unique. And Zeke told us the real reason for starting the leap this season is that he felt like defenders were coming for his legs. So he's being productive and leaving in the air before they can even touch him. Guys.